be a part of history and subscribe to my two YouTube channels and join the 100,000 pharaohs that exist. And of course, follow me on Twitch as I create a radio station from the ground up. They ain't never seen a young black reporter coming like this. Mr. Telefero TV, here's the reality. People are not going to like this story, right? I, I get it. They expect me to come on here and derod every rapper. And if, even if it's untrue, come in here and say it because it's a rapper and it's a black rapper. And you're supposed to stick with your people. No, I side on what's right and what's wrong. I'm a morals type guy. And I'm going to break down this story to you. We all know Meek Mill's been incarcerated what, for a few months now. And he got locked up on a probation violation. The judge, Janice Brinkley, uh, Meeks claimed that this woman has had it in for her, uh, in for him rather, from the beginning. Meeks said, look, this chick wants me to be a part of her local uh, Philly management team or one of her close friends, Charlie Mack, who has a team in, in Philadelphia, a management group. She wants me to leave Rock Nation, don't want me to be affiliated with Jay-Z. She doesn't want me to be affiliated with MMG and Rick Ross. She wants me to be a part of one of her closest friends, management team, Charlie Mack. She has it in for me. She wants me to sing an ode to boys, to men. You know what I mean? She, she, this is what she wants, right? She, she just, she wants to see me locked up. She wants to make an example out of me. Here's the facts. The transcript was released, right? And, and let me just give you a little backstory. This is what I've heard. This is what somebody has told me, a good, reliable source. Meek Mill and his Meek Mill's lawyer, a, a a a white man, convinced Meek this is the approach that we need to take. We need we need to say that this woman, she wants you to sign to a management team. She wants you to um she wants you locked up. We need to make this woman seem like the bad person in all this, right? And Meek Mill said, "I'm gonna roll with it." So after that, like a month or two ago, reportedly, this is what I'm hearing. Meek Mill found out inside that they're going to release the transcript. Well, then Meek Mill went back to his attorney like, yo, Joe. And the, and the attorney name is Joe uh, Takapina. And, and Meek was like, yo, you know they're going to release the transcript that will show this woman hasn't said anything like that. You know what I mean? And Joe was like, we just going to roll with it. No, they're they going to still believe us. We could just say that the transcript was faulty. You know, and, and the transcript's not faulty. The transcript is not faulty. Here's the reality of the situation. Meek Mill and his attorney, Joe Tuckapena, lied about Judge Janice Brinkley having some sort of hatred towards Meek Mill. Does she love Meek Mill? Probably not. Does she want to make an example of Meek, out of Meek Mill? Maybe, maybe. But Meek's given her more than enough reason to do so. And the reality of the situation is there is the transcript was released. TMZ has got a copy of it, and I got a copy of it through TMZ. There is... In, in, in these private conversations that Meek Mill and this judge had, and Nikki was present for these conversations as well, there is no evidence that shows this judge asked this man to sing boys to men to her. There is no evidence that shows that this woman wanted Meek to sign to her management team. Meek Mill and his attorney made it up. And I want to I want to caution you guys, y'all get these attorneys, and, and Joe Takapina is somebody who's lied in the past, right? He was A-Rod's lawyer. He's a liar. He's a compulsive liar. And we believed him. He hopped on the radio, did interviews, and really painted this judge who's a black woman. And I don't like this, right? Because everybody that went at this black judge that we should be bigging up right now because she's doing something that there's not a lot of black women in this field doing. And this white attorney has everyone looking crazy. He ruined the reputation of this Philadelphia judge, Janice Brinkley. Meek Mill is going to do these two to four years right now because there's no transcript supporting its evidence that this judge lied on him. And this attorney is still walking around free. And he's just putting out fictitious stories and just coming up with BS back and forth. This is as disheartening a story I've ever seen from a rapper. I've been covering this for about, what, two years now? This is ridiculous. If anybody, from what the transcript I've seen, if anybody, and I read over the transcript, if anybody was trying to do some shysty stuff, it was Meek's attorney and Meek's probation officer. Now, Meek's probation officer did mention you should go roll with Charlie Mack. Meek's probation officer did say Charlie Mack would be a good influence on him. 
And that's inappropriate, by the way. But that's not what Joe Takapina came out and said. He came out and said it was Janice Brinkley behind them chambers. It's totally different from a probation officer and a judge, right? The, the judge, that, that, that's a whole nother level. This black woman who's had a reputation. I did stories on it. Of course, a lot of big outlets have done stories on it. That's totally different. This The probation officer, when I read over that transcript, I was like, yo, she said some stuff that I, I don't like that. She said some stuff behind the chambers, or she or he said some stuff behind the chambers that I didn't like. Now, the judge, Denise Brinkley, no. And her name should be cleared. This was Meek and his attorney's desperate attempt to lie. And I don't like it one bit. Y'all talk to me in the comment box below. I will be back with something else on this, maybe today, tomorrow. But uh, again, like I said, Meek's going to do those two to four years, unfortunately. Uh, Meek, I, if I were you, I'd get rid of that attorney because his little plan, this little conspiracy he's come up with, it didn't work, and a judge who's worked her whole life to get to her posi position, her name has went through the mud, mud, and, and this is ridiculous, and, and it's, it's definitely disheartening. Thank y'all for the time, love, support. I don't take a granted salute. I'm out. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty.